Hello and welcome to this week's video. So today we're going to be having a look at Dr. Strangelove by Peter George. Now this was the book that became a movie and uh, has got an all, <laughs> a really convoluted history behind it and one of these books well it's got a bit of a shock ending so uh, look out for that. So without further ado then do sit back relax and let's get to it. The author, Peter George, or Peter Brian George, was born on the 26th of March, 1924. Now, he was a Welsh author, most famous for the 1958 Cold War thriller, Red Alert. Now, that was initially published uh, with the title Two Hours to Doom, and that was written using the pseudonym Peter Bryant. Now, that book was the inspiration for the Stanley Kubrick movie, Dr. Strangelove, or How I Learned to uh, Stop Worrying um, and Love the Bomb. So it's a bit of a convoluted um, history to, the, to how this book actually came about. So um, George himself was born in, in Ronda in Wales, and um, he was uh, a flight lieutenant and navigator for the Royal Air Force uh, during World War II. And he served with a 255 Squadron for the RAF, and he would uh, fly night fighter missions over Malta in Italy. and um, he rejoined the RAF, serving at RAF Neath's Head um, as a fighter controller and where he would often write while he was on duty. Um, and he retired from the service in 1961. Now, although Red Alert was his best uh, known novel, um, a lot of this was um, drawn from his personal experiences um, uh, in the RAF. And that was what led to the inspiration for Kubrick to uh, to adapt it. Um, make it Dr. Strangelove or, or how I learned to stop worrying and, and love the bomb. Now, um, interest in nuclear themes uh, is what sparked uh, Stanley uh, um, Kramer's film version of the Neville Shoot novel uh, on the beach in 1959. Uh, and that caused the movie Red Alert, the movie rights to Red Alert, to be sold uh, later that year, only to be transferred until t Stanley Kubrick bought them in 1962, reportedly for as little as three and a half thousand uh, dollars, which is uh, peanuts, I guess, for, um, for movie rights these days. Um, Peter George himself did receive a co-writing credit for the move for the film screenplay uh, with Kubrick and Terry Southern, although it's unclear quite how much involvement he actually had in the screenplay. Um, he was reportedly dissatisfied with the comedic element that Kubrick applied to the material. Um, as co-writer, though, he did uh, um, share a Best Adapted Screenplay Oscar nomination. Um, after the movie was released, that is when um, he wrote this adaption of Dr. Strange of, and ironically, it's actually um, dedicated to Kubrick. So if we have a look, this is the, so this is the book that was read alert based on. This is the film tie-in. So it's a bit of a convoluted journey to get here. However, this is the UK edition, um, published in 1963. And this is the first of that one. Quite interesting. There's the uh, the classic Ken Adam designed war room under the Pentagon, Pentagon, as seen in the movie. And it's not a bad little adaption, this. As I said, they use the movie logo there. Um, that has nothing to do. That's not a still from the film at all. Um, bit of an odd one that. I mean, the film today, when you watch it, is quite interesting. And Sellers, in his usual, doing three roles uh, in the one movie, which is what he was he tended to do. Um, however, um, I don't know. It is what it is. It's a real period piece now. Now, that was the first movie one. And this is the one I had in my collection for years. And then I came across this one at a jumble or a boot sale or something like that, I seem to remember. And I couldn't quite believe it. Now, this is actually a reprint uh, from a couple of years later. Still got that same beautiful Ken Adams back. Um, and it's quite poignant because Peter George himself was haunted by the threat of a nuclear apocalypse. I mean, he it, it just had nightmares about it. And um, on the 1st of June, 1966, he was found dead in his home with a double-barreled 
discharged shotgun between his knees and the death was ruled as a suicide. Um, now that actually happened um, on the 1st of June, 1966. Now, when I found this book, I had a little look through and, I, and this is the one, this particular edition is published in 1964. However, when I looked inside it, I found it was actually a signed copy. So it's got with compliments and best wishes of the author. For Taff, Peter George, 28th of April, 1966. So this is about 35 days before he killed himself, which is quite something when you think about it. Don't you think? I was really shocked when I, when I found that one. Certainly a bit of a curiosity for sure. And um, the fact that I do love the film um, and the book, even though, you know, watching it just recently, I, I found a few bits quite jarring. Um, it's still quite a nice little addition to my collection and something a little bit more unusual that I thought I would share with you today on YouTube. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that little look at uh, this particular copy of Dr. Strangelove. Now, I do have lots of vintage paperback content on the channel. So if you've liked what you've seen, do please consider subscribing and hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video as well. Until next time, then thank you once again for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.